Hello everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to use Apache EG to create a family tree. Apache EG is a graph extension which provides database functionality, uh, being able to read and write graph data in nodes and edges. As a prerequisite, you need to have Postgres 11 or the alpha of 12, Apache AG and AG Viewer installed in your computer. Uh, if you have installed Apache AG or AG Viewer, check it out on this tutorial from Bit9. I'll add a link on the video in the description also. So, to create the graph, use the create graph function located in the AG catalog namespace. This function will now return in results and the graph is created if there is no error message. Uh, in this example, to the create a graph name is family tree. So to check the created graphs, execute this query. Then uh, it will return all the graphs available in the database. Now we need to add the vertices and edges to our graph. Each vertice will be a person and will have a name, their titles, the year the person was born, and the year he or she died. The edges will represent the relationship, the relationship between them. So let's add our first member to the family tree. For this tutorial, we'll use a historic figure, Charlemagne. He was a member of the Carolingian dynasty, born April 2, 747, and died January 28, 814, and was the first emperor of the Holy Roman Empire. Here we can use the create clause to create a vertex, but it is also used to create edges. Inside its parentheses, we firstly define the label as person and then we open a curly brackets to add the attributes of the vertex inside it. Now let's create another vertex to represent one of Charlemagne's spouses, Hildegard. Hildegard and Charlemagne had nine children together, but Louis was their only surviving son after Charlemagne's death. We will create him here too. To show all the created vertices so far, we can run the following query. This one will output all the information that all vertices has, but it can be quite complex to look at. We can get the properties of the vertices in a clearer way like this, choosing which property we want to output. Now let's create the edges to represent the relationships between our family members. Charlemagne married Hildegard shortly after breaking up with Desiderata, the daughter of the King of the Lombards on 771, and lasted until Hildegard's death on 783. We can represent this relationship between them with an edge and give the duration of the marriage as a property of it using a curly brackets after the label. We can also represent the relation of Louis and his parents with multiple edges. To show the edges that we've made so far, we can type the following command. Now we can visualize the graph with AG Viewer. In the AG Viewer directory, run the npm run setup and npm run start commands so you can open a new AG Viewer tab on your browser. There, you can run the following query to view all nodes and edges. So, this is our result with AG Viewer. And here are some more detailed examples. In these graphs, I inserted part of the York's dynasty family members from England. Graph databases can also be used in a similar scientific application. For example, it can be used to find the mitochondrial Eve for tracking the evolution of the human species, given some proper modifications and applied to scale.
I hope you like this tutorial, give it a like, share with your friends, and check out Apache AGE. Thanks for watching.